These are the faces of refugees desperately waiting to be resettled in Europe. Many of them have escaped war in their own countries and made treacherous journeys to Europe with the hope of a better life. The impact on Europe is profound. The refugee crisis is one of the biggest challenges the EU has ever faced. The cost of it is immense. The large bulk of migrants reaching Europe have been taken in by Germany. Now, Germany has budgeted 20 billion euros to resettle these refugees. And according to research, each person settled in Germany comes at a cost of 1,000 euros per month. No wonder then that the refugee crisis is high on the agenda as EU leaders gather for a summit in Brussels. There's been plenty of tension between EU member states over countries not pulling their weight. The leaders are expected to debate a policy put forward by Italian Prime Minister Matteo Renzi. It calls for common EU migration bonds whereby all member states share the debt created by the refugee crisis. But that's been strongly rejected by Germany. A lot of disagreement amongst EU leaders on a way forward. So there's a realization something must be done. I think a realization there needs to be greater cooperation, but much disagreement about where that cooperation should be. But finding some sort of common ground may be clouded by matters close to home for some EU leaders. But you have key elections, not least in Germany, uh, coming up. Uh, and I think this is an issue, uh, about, fine, uh, issue about money that EU uh, leaders would well wish they didn't have to deal with right now. As the EU leaders debate how to get migration under control, the camp that's been dubbed the jungle is still in shutdown mode. The French government ordered the camp in Calais on the coast opposite Britain to be demolished. Now the process of finding a home for those there is still underway. It's thought that there could be up to 10,000 people living in the Calais camp. The Red Cross says of the estimated 1,000 unaccompanied children there, 178 have been identified as having family ties to the UK. Some have already made their way to Britain, where there have been emotional reunions. The camp's days are numbered, so there's a push to speed up the process. The urgency is, I think, beyond any doubt, beyond any dispute, because, as we say, the camp is being demolished probably within the next 10 days. And last time there was a demolition of some section of the camp, over 100 children went missing, unaccompanied children went missing in the process. Clearly that's, that's not acceptable. We need to have these procedures in place very quickly, very dependably. Many are still in limbo, not sure what authorities are going to do with them or where they'll get to call home. And for Europe, counting the costs of the migrant crisis on its finances and the human costs of the refugees' plight. Marion Bamard for CCTV.